today, let's have a look over silent installations. Now, a silent installation is the ability to install an application package, most frequently on MSI or EXE, without any user interaction. This means that the user will no longer need to go through the install wizard and click next multiple times, and the application will be installed automatically by calling the installer with specific silent install parameters. Now, why do we need this? Well, imagine a company with more than 1,000 or 10,000 or hundreds of thousands of users and computers where you need to install an application on all of the machines, but most of the users are not necessarily tech savvy. Now, it wouldn't make sense to use a CD or USB stick and manually install the application by yourself because this will take edges. Now, in enterprise environments, some users might be able to install the application, but the majority may not have the technical knowledge or administrative privileges to install software by themselves. This is why we will see tools like configuration management, SCCM, Intune, Ivanti Landesk, Matrix 42, and other types of uh, configuration management tools which are used in the enterprise environments. These help automate the integration of application packages in the infrastructure with the corresponding installed parameters and then deploy them to the user's machine. And this is done through a silent installation step. Now, there are two main Windows installer package formats, the EXE and the MSI. Depending on the format, the way to install the application silently will differ and in some cases you might not be able to silently install an application at all. So, in this video, let's have a look a little bit at the MSI and EXE and how you can possibly perform a silent installation on these two technologies. Yes, there is a new format of MSIX, but this is automatically installed silently when it's integrated into deployment tools such as Configuration Manager or Endpoint Manager. Now, if we have a look over the MSI packages, the MSI stands for Microsoft Installer and it's the Windows Standard Installer format. This uses the MSI exec.exe to install the setup and accepts the standard MSI parameters. Now, I will put a link in the description with the article regarding this so you can have a look over all the parameters you can have with MSIs, but a regular command line to silently install an MSI should look something like this. So, if we open up our terminal with administrative rights and we open a command prompt, we could simply say msi exec slash i for installation. Then we will paste our msi path. You should have something like slash qb. Now, qb stands for the q is to set the UI level and b is just a basic UI. So, if we will run this command, as you can see, we only see the prepare to install and then the application installed without going through all the steps. Now, as mentioned, for more parameters, check the link in the description and have a look over what you can achieve with MSI. You can also define parameters in the command line, properties, so forth and so on. Now, when it comes to exe files, uh, in comparison to the MSI, there is no standard process regarding silent installation parameters because these parameters will vary depending on the software that was used to create the setup installer. But if there is no standard process, then how do we find the silent install parameters? There is no specific method, but you can try the following. So, for example, if I take this setup.txt file, I can put it in my command prompt and with the help of slash help this exe for example displays all the parameters that you can pass to it in order to install it. Uh, now if you want to install it silently as you can see, we have the slash exe no UI, which launches the exe setup with no UI. It means this is a silent installation. Now, that doesn't mean all the setups.exes have these options uh, shown. Um, another method you can maybe try to find out is to go through the vendor's application support page or forum 
Um, in some cases, you may find what install parameters the application supports, and it might also give you full silent installation instructions, uh, but that is if the vendor decided to create a support page. Now, if none of the methods that I just presented work, you could open up the setup.exe and wait until we see an installation wizard. Usually in the installation wizard, you can notice which tool or packaging program was used to package the installer. And with this information, you can go to the official website of the tool itself and search for the default installation parameters. So for example, if we double click here, we can see that this was done with advanced installer. And if you go on our website, uh, we have multiple pages on which we present you the different options that you can use to silently install an exe file, right? Now, in terms of the most common application packaging tools and their silent install parameters for setup.exe. Well, as mentioned with advanced installer, you can use the slash help to figure out uh, more parameters that you can use. Uh, but usually if you want to silently install an exe with our tool, you can use the slash exe no UI parameter. Um, if you want some basic UI, you can use exe basic UI as a parameter. When it comes to other tools such as install shield, you can usually use something like slash s which launches the exe setup in silent mode and uses the response file if you have such. When it comes to weak tool set silent install parameters, again it's best to use the slash help because this is available and Possible parameters for that might be slash Q, which is short for quiet. Of course, you can type slash quiet. Other parameter is again the slash S, which stands for silent, and you can use slash silent as well. When it comes to Inno setup silent install parameters, again, uh, Inno setup does offer the help menu but most of the times is silent which launches the exe setup in a silent mode with a progress bar only and displaying the installation progress if you want no display whatsoever uh you then you need to use a very silent as a parameter for in all setup now let's say we have tried all the above methods for the setup.exe and unfortunately you came to the conclusion that it doesn't support silent installation. Now, if there is no MSI version of the application uh, on the vendor's website and the EXE does not set up any sort of silent installation, then unfortunately you would have to go through the repackaging phase. Repackaging your application with advanced installer into an MSI or EXE uh, will fully support silent installations. I will paste a link down in the description because this is a totally different topic but advanced installer repackager allows you to capture software installation and OS changes by performing a comparison between an initial and final system snapshot. The result can then be built into a new installation package. It doesn't matter if it's for 32 or 64 bit, if it's an MSI, MSI X, AppV, so forth and so on. So please check the links in the description for more information regarding the repackaging process. Now, how do we configure exactly the advanced installer to have silent setups? I already have a project open. So if we go into advanced installer and navigate to the prerequisites page, as you can see, we have our feature based prerequisites. Now, if we check each and every application that we have here, these are all MSI files, right? So we have three MSIs. And for example, if you want to use our no UI um, uh, parameter that I previously mentioned, uh, you need to declare the parameters for the MSI file. So then when I want to use the exe no UI parameter that I previously mentioned, everything will be installed silently. Silent installations are a great way to install software. And this type of installation is specifically useful for businesses that they want to deploy the software on multiple computers without the need for user input or interaction. Let us know if you find this video useful and leave a question for us. Bye bye.